My name is John Caters, Dean of the College of Science, Engineering and Technology, and I'd like to welcome everybody to the brand new STEM Innovation Center here on the UW-Green Bay campus. Uh, this is a, really a public-private partnership. Uh, it's a $15 million building that has about 63,000 square feet in it. Uh, Five million dollars of the funding came from the state of Wisconsin. Five million came from the half a percent Brown County sales tax. And the remaining five million dollars was fundraised for from our uh, really important partners in the community. Off to the left we have a gathering area that we'll be using when we have groups touring the building and when we have student groups coming in working on activities. Uh, there will be a display panel here where you can do presentations, show videos, that type of thing. Uh, directly behind that is kind of an open seating area and we will have a lot of students working in this area, studying in this area. It will also be a great place for the occupants of the building to get together, bounce ideas off of each other, and again, that's really where we end up innovating, creating, and coming up with some great opportunities for everybody to work together. So this particular area, uh, we we're very fortunate to have Bellmark, which is a company in De Pere, uh, sponsor this area. So this will be known as the Bellmark Gathering Area, and so we're really excited to have Bellmark as a partner on this project. Uh, we're now entering the flexible space in the lower level of the STEM Innovation Center. And the idea of this space is that we do have the ability to offer classes. It can be broken down into four separate spaces, uh, but we can also keep it open as one large space for community events and those types of things. We're now on the lower level in the maker space that's going to be operated by the Einstein Project. And this is a great space where uh, younger kids can come in, they get the opportunity to work with a lot of different equipment, 3D printers, uh, laser engravers, those types of things. And so this is really, again, going to be another active space. Uh, the cool part about this, from my perspective, is the younger kids will have the opportunity to hopefully interact with our college students. Uh, we've got a machine shop and other additional resources uh, on the same level, really adjacent to this space. And so again, this should be a hub of collaboration between the Einstein Project and the EWGB Mechanical Engineering Program. Off to my right is a boardroom, and this is also shared space. So the partners in the building will be using this also collaboratively. Uh, one nice feature about this boardroom is that it looks out over the Einstein warehouse where they assemble the kits uh, that do get sent out to the school. So it gives a really good idea of the activity that's in the building, and the visitors to the building will hopefully gain a better understanding of what's uh, taking place with the Einstein Project and the impact that that organization has on STEM education in, in the region. Off to my left, uh, we have the UW Extension uh, space. And so UW Extension does a lot of programming within the community and it's very important. Uh, it's been long-standing uh, work with 4-H and those types of things. Off to my right we have the Brown County Land and Water Conservation Space. Uh, they do a lot of lo local work with farmers, agriculture, those types of things. And also a very important partner for us in terms of grants, research, and those types of things for, for students and faculty. Uh, we're now on the second floor of the STEM Innovation Center. Off to my right, we have faculty offices for our mechanical engineering program, uh, which is part of the Richard J. Resch School of Engineering. Uh, that gift has really made a lot of this possible and really helped get our engineering program off the ground. Uh, the county also has a STEM business incubator off to my left, and over time, uh, there'll be companies that will start to use that space and hopefully start to interact with our faculty and students on new uh, business opportunities. Off to the right, uh, we have a number of small research offices and students will be able to work collaboratively with faculty on small research projects in this particular area. Off to the left, we have our computer laboratory, and this is where a lot of our lower level engineering courses will be taught, SOLIDWORKS and CAD and those types of courses. Uh, we can see students are actively using this space already, and it's been a great space based on the feedback we've received from the instructors. Uh, off to the right, we do have a rooftop patio, and there is also a green roof associated with the patio. Off to the left, we have our instructional kitchen, and this is also a shared space. So it will be shared by UW Extension, who does a number of food-related activities out in the community, and will also be utilized by our uh, programs within human biology. We have a dietetics and nutrition program, and we will be bringing in a brand new master's program uh, in nutrition as well, because that will be the entry-level degree required to be a practicing dietitian. You will need to have a master's degree. We're now standing in one of the three engineering labs that are on the second floor of the STEM building. This is actually a thermodynamics lab. And so in here we will be doing a number of courses and we'll also be using this as research and active space for the student learning to take place. Uh, you can see in this classroom that it's absolutely gorgeous. We get great views of our campus, really highlighting the eco-U aspects of our campus. Um, you get the ability to see nature, which is incredible. 
Uh, this again is going to be a very active area for our students and the number of uh, engineering majors that we've seen to date has been more than what we expected. So we're really excited about the prospects of mechanical engineering as well as the ability to continue to grow our engineering technology programs. Hopefully this short virtual tour has given you an idea of some of the occupants of the STEM building, some of the activities that will be taking place in the STEM Innovation Center. And again, we'd really invite you out here to really see it for yourself because it is an incredible building. It's a great building that will serve the community well for years to come. Uh, we'd really like to thank all the partners that provided funding for the building. And again, this investment is going to continue to give for many, many years as we continue to increase the number of students interested in science, technology, engineering, and math.